I really, before I'm going to use it in my work, I need to know that there is some validity. So what I loved about the change triangle is that there were many different scientific theories that all came together to lend valid validity to the change triangle. Uh, one of them has to do with emotions themselves, this idea that emotions are pre-wired, hardwired programs that are in the middle of the brain. But they don't, the sci they don't know exactly, and emotions are very complex, and they pull from all parts of the brain, but they are triggered without conscious control. We cannot stop emotions from happening. It's impossible. And once you know that, it's liberating because, again, there's no point in feeling ashamed about something that is a, is a wired in biological capacity or experience. So emotions just are. There is no point in judging yourself for emotions. There's no point in judging your family for their emotions. You really just have to accept that emotions just are. And the science backs that up. And What's important to, I think the second thing that's important to understand is that emotions are, originate in the middle of the brain in the limbic system and they immediately affect the body. Before we even know we've had an emotion and we can think, oh, you know, I'm annoyed at this person or I'm feeling very sad, they will, they will trigger the lower brain, which is connected to our heart and our lungs and our muscles and our stomach. In fact, the whole gastro, the stomach, the gastrointestinal system is known as the second brain because there are so many, there's, there are so many nerve endings, um, nerve cells going to the stomach, which is why when people feel anxious, they often feel it in their stomach. You get butterflies in your stomach or you get a knot in your stomach um, <clears throat> or you'll feel nauseated. So emotions are physical sensations and the science of that is just the wiring when we all know that subjectively, that's one of the other things about the change triangle, is when I saw it and you learn the principles of the change triangle, it's not like, it's just not a stretch to get it because it's, it reflects our experience. So when you start to slow down and pay attention to what's happening in your body, nobody can really argue that emotions are physical experiences. We, we feel them that way. But you have to tune into your body to allow yourself. And for some people coming out of their head, is not so easy. They, they feel safer in their head. To notice their body is to notice their emotional world. And to notice their emotional world wasn't safe at one time. So we have to, you know, the way you build muscles in the gym, you build a tolerance to being with your emotions and allowing yourself to experience them. The other science that informs the theory is, is the science of brain change, which is neuroplasticity is the, uh, the scientific word for that that the brain changes. It used to be that you thought after somebody finished adolescence that the brain was still, it didn't move. Now we know the brain changes till the day we die. And so learning about emotions is just like learning. The way you can take a course and learn something new, we can learn to tend to our emotions and learn to be with our emotions. So if you used to feel a lot of anxiety, but now you're in touch with your emotions, your brain will re rewire, it will become more integrated, meaning that it works, it functions more like a well-oiled machine the way it's supposed to work, where your thoughts and your emotions and your physicality are kind of all lined up and working together, and the brain rewires so that we no longer experience anxiety the way we used to. It's much, we feel much calmer we feel much more open, we feel much more connected to ourself and to others. When you work the triangle over time again and again, these are the fruits of working the triangle. So in a way, there's a long, there's a short-term benefit to working the triangle in a moment, but over time, if we continue working the triangle again and again, trying to get more and more in touch with our emotions in the moment, there's a huge long-term mental health and physical health benefit where we are calmer in general. Our nervous system is calmer, and we have access to all those C's that I like to talk about that come with this kind of calm, open-hearted, core state of being. Calm, confident, courageous, clarity of thought, connectedness to the world, 
and to yourself. Um, that I mentioned courage and compassion above all. That we can really cultivate compassion for ourselves and compassion towards others, which is a good thing. Very yeah. good thing. Yeah. A very good thing. Um, I like those C's. I didn't know those before. Yeah. 